Good morning, everyone. With a crowded field of potential Republican presidential candidates, whose message is already connecting with voters? Polster and Fox News contributor Frank Luntz breaks down the language of some of the most watched GOP hopefuls. Good morning, Frank. Thanks for being with Good us. Morning. First, Thanks. let's take a look at Jeb Bush. How do we restore America's faith in the moral promise of our great nation? That any child born today can reach further than their parents. This is a really urgent issue. Far too many Americans live on the edge of economic ruin. And many more feel like they're stuck in place, working longer and harder, even as they're losing ground. Frank, it looks like we see there he's actually doing very well with Democrats, which could hurt him in the primary and help him in the general. Well, that's been the whole issue with Bush from the very beginning, is that his greatest challenge might be in a primary situation because of some of the things that he said on immigration and education. But what I noticed about the Bush candidacy so far is that he's making a tremendous effort to be as positive as any of the candidates, focusing on children and the next generation and what it means to them. He's going to have to pick up that delivery. You notice that he was clearly reading from a teleprompter. Uh -huh. There wasn't that passion, that, that emphasis that primary voters like to see. But those were the words that they like to hear. And I think Bush has got a message that can take him very far. Next up, we have a clip of Ted Cruz. And he's speaking uh, about the frustrations Americans have with big government. Listen. The most fundamental problem, the frustration, is that the men and women in Washington aren't listening. If you talk to the man and woman on the street, that's, the, that's the, the message you hear over and over again. Why don't they listen to me? Why don't they hear what we have to say? Our elected officials, they get to Washington and they stop listening to the people. Certainly see his passion there. And not only do they see the passion, but they all agree, whether you're a Democrat, Independent, or Republican, it's one of the greatest frustrations with Washington right now. It's why Cruz, who has tremendous challenges with his colleagues here in, in D.C., is such a popular hit in places like Iowa and New Hampshire. They, they look at him and they say, this is someone who says what he means and means what he says. Now, the challenge for Cruz is the opposite of Bush, mm -hmm. that those are words that work really well in a Republican primary. The question is whether Cruz can deliver a message that wins over conservative independents and even a few Democrats. But I will tell you that of all the clips that we've tested, that is the number one clip, the number one language so far among 2016 candidates. Right, and that's who you're polling here, our, our swing voters in Michigan, I understand. Next up, we have a clip of Rand Paul, uh, who is talking about folks being upset with government spending. Listen. Government is inherently bad at picking winners and losers. Think of the billions spent on the war on poverty over many decades. Government spending doesn't work. It doesn't create jobs. Only the democracy of the marketplace can find those capable of creating jobs. Frank, you say that uh, Rand Paul can have a problem sometimes seeming too intellectual to the average American? He, when you ask people and you listen to the different clips of the different candidates, Rand Paul wins for being the most intellectual and the most philosophical. And that is great to 18 to 29 year olds who are looking for something to believe in, not just a candidate, but a philosophy. The challenge for, for Senator Paul is, once again, it's that passion. And can that messaging, particularly on foreign policy, which is important to a Republican electorate, will his slightly different point of view than other Republicans, will that carry? But I'm going to tell you, based on what we've done so far, Rand Paul is going to have more young people in Iowa and New Hampshire than any of the other candidates, and his message is clearly getting through to college students. Absolutely. Making a lot of headlines these, uh, recently. Frank Lentz, thank you so much for your time today. You got one more and thing hope, to say? Yes. I hope that they come to my website, LuntzGlobal.com because you too can pick up one of those dials and give your point of view to the American people. LuntzGlobal.com, that's how you sign up to participate in one of our focus groups. A strong pool of contenders there. Frank Lunds, thanks so much. Thanks.